Today we're unboxing the legendary Air Max 1 Amsterdam by Dutch illustrator and streetwear designer Pete Pat. These sneakers released over a decade ago in August of 2005 during a time in which the Air Max 1 was among the most sought after models. So how did this colorway come about? Believe it or not, this was not Para's original design. His original concept was inspired by Dutch supermarket chain Albert Heijn, which was known for its orange and blue branding. But Nike had to scrap the release because, get this, the store changed its brand colors before the shoes ever hit store shelves. Para went back to the drawing board and created a rather raunchy concept inspired by the red light district of Amsterdam. The combination of dark burgundy, bright pink, and light blue is a tribute to the seedy underbelly that add to the city's notorious reputation. It's rumored that just 250 pairs of Para's Air Max 1 was released, but there's an even rare Hyperstrike edition that features the artist's signature embroidered on the shoe. But that's not all. Remember that scrapped orange and blue colorway? The one that Nike decided to shelf for good? Para and Nike still gave out 24 pairs to friends and family. Over the years, the prices for these shoes have gone up, and rightfully so. Today, the Amsterdam Air Max 1 is valued between two and three thousand dollars. The Hyperstrike version, which rarely pops up on eBay and consignment stores, is priced up to $10,000. The unreleased orange and blue pair is pretty much priceless at this point. Today, Para's Air Max 1 is regarded as one of the best collaborations in sneaker history. He's gone on to team up with Nike on several more occasions, and from these projects, he's built himself up to be a legend in the sneaker game as one of the most impactful collaborators in Nike history. His artwork is frequently on display around the world, and his streetwear label Rockwell continues its success as well.